Hey everybody, this is Alex Dixon with Studio 722 coming back at you with a new tip today. Um, today we're going to be looking at just a, more of a metering tip and how to gauge your loudness levels in a song in Cubase. This is a Cubase specific tip, so if you can find a way to apply it in your DAW, then you know by all means go ahead. Anyway... Today we'll be looking at the meter and loudness section in the in the mix console in Cubase 7.5. I'm also using a Sleepy Time Record Stereo Tools VU meter as a as a little bit of a RMS measurement tool. Anyway, let's get started. I'll show you a little bit of something. Let me reset my meters. As you can see, my cal my calibration of my VU meter is at minus 10, so whenever it hits zero, it's it's hanging out at minus 10. And as you can see at the beginning, I got a range of 6.2. I have an integrated loudness of minus 17.3, and the short term loudness of 48. Uh, well, the short term loudness is pretty much where the VU, the the digital full scale meter, sits. And the momentary max is more of an RMS. The integrated is a over the course of the entire program material. And as you can see, you have LUFS and LU. Pretty much you have LUFS, which is loudness units full scale, which is the same as your peak meter. Um, uh, as your peak meter here. Run and tell your mother. You know, that's your, the, this meter is your peak meter if you have it in the digital scale. You also have a few different types of, of meter scales, but with this particular meter, I keep it in digital, the digital full scale. And I use this, uh, I use the loudness, the loudness metering to measure how loud my program material is when mastering. Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, as you can see, my integrated loudness steadily went up, and so my short-term loudness kind of hung out around minus 10, minus 12. And my momentary max hit hit is more of a, as it says, it's a maximum value uh, over the course, over a little bit longer period of time than the short term. You know, as you can see on my VU meter, I was hitting about plus one plus two at the max and that corresponds to the momentary max this just gives a little bit more immediate feedback so you know there's a number of ways of metering out there and measuring loudness there's so many tools out there you can do and there's also uh let's see is this it yes the tt dynamic range meter um, this is a, another meter that you can use. Um, I don't know if it's available for free anymore, but I'll give you a little bit of a tutorial around this. It's got the correlation meter plus one it is always good, but you know, you want it hanging around in the middle. But anyway. <laughs> As you 
as you can see, you're pretty much getting the same information as over here. You got your dynamic range here in the middle. You have your RMS on the inner bars, and then you have your peak on the outer bars. And down here you have your RMS values, your peak values, and your dynamic range values. You know, there's, like I said, there's a number of ways to meter and measure loudness. You know, just find one that's accurate and works best for you. Anyway, this has been a, a hot to a Cubase hot tip and yeah, this has been Alex Dixon with Studio 722. Have a blessed day guys. Bye.